Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, cowboys. Yeehaw! Oh, my God. When I said I've been doing a little ranching, I mean I've been doing a little ranching. Yeah, you have a ranch I could keep these two. Um, these are going to look good in my backyard in Charlotte. Uh, you, you don't live too far from Bruton, do you? No, I don't. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can park them over at Bruton's uh, during the day. He said no. Uh, <laughs> and he's talking to the Homeowners Association already. So uh, oh, that's you have funny. two Shetland ponies for Ella and Leo. Uh, we've already contacted them. They know they, that you have these. So you can't give them back. So... <clears throat> they were close all day, but they've never been closer than in victory lane. Rutman and Hornaday crowding into the same vehicle. Boy, what a show you put on at the finish. Well, I, I wanted to see what it felt like to get into a winning truck here. You know, ours, or the LCI truck is real good, but Ron was whipping us all day long. So he was kind enough to let me get in here and see what it felt like. Yeah, but I asked you to get out. Let me get out first so we can get in. But oh. uh, <laughs> if I could get close enough to spin him, I probably would have... You know, Cobby could have beat him for sure. One whack Joe. Yeah, one whack Joe is <laughs> Dale, thanks for letting me. I didn't think you'd ever let me drive one of these things, but finally Dale let me drive for, for a change and felt good. I mean, it uh, feels cool in here and nice. I can see why he's doing so good. It's it's like air conditioning inside here. It's 130 degrees in there, Joe. Oh, it feels perfect. Perfect. <laughs> They're New York they make, hot dogs. They make them about 50 miles They, they feed island. them. I don't know what they feed them, but it don't look good. Hopefully it tastes better than it. No. Grab yourself a lunch. He looks just, just like Napoleon Dynamite when he does that. Oh, release the heat. Release the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Drivers are ready to go. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You're supposed to turn left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's unwinding. That's what you do after the 500 laps at Bristol. You walk around the other way to get your mind back right. <laughs> <laughs> so while they're finishing up the last of the track drying, we are uh, waiting on the green flag and the command to start engines in opposite order of that for tonight's NASCAR <laughs> Nationwide Somewhere Series. Like the beard, obviously you have a little bit of worry that you're too baby-faced and people call you a little boy, so the beard is to try to give you a macho look that you think you deserve as a race driver. Isn't that true? Well, a lady at the restaurant that we eat at at, at home a lot walked up and told me that I look 10 years older, so I said, oh, so I look 25 now instead of 15, <laughs> right? Yes, I know I have long hair. Yes, I know <laughs> I rode my dad's coattails. Yes, I know I'm a never was. And yes, I know I suck. I, got, I get that all the time. Uh, well, I, I, let's base this argument in fact. Then the fact of the matter is you don't suck. And we <laughs> loved watching yeah. you on the track. And we love having you here. The, I think it was New Hampshire. Both of us were bad. Like, both of us just weren't good. Either really good or really yeah. bad. And we're, we looked at each other, what are you doing? Same thing as you, numbnut. You know, it's yeah. like, we both, we both stunk. So I was like, okay. But now in Iowa, we were both really good. And other places, we're both really good. It's like, hey, we can, you know, he's doing a little spring here. I'm doing a sway bar here. So it works out well. When you're good, both are great. But man, when one's bad, they're both bad. You're like, dang it. If I wreck, he'll wreck. If he runs bad, I run bad. If I run good, he runs good. So Both of you are numb nuts. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Thank you for being with us, and best of luck at Eldora. On just the just make me promise me one thing, that when Juan comes up here in a minute, you're going to make him do the whole interview in English. <laughs> so, it, you, well, I can't. Now, wait, you get him and Elliot at the same time. He's, he's you get him and Elliot at the same time, nobody's going to be able to understand anybody. Yeah. Wally is like... He's like a mass murderer. I mean, he'll go out. If it moves, he'll shoot it. He so. likes to shoot things. Yeah, he loves to shoot things. I like to make stuff blow up when I shoot stuff out, outside. But uh, Wally's like a, I don't know, like a Jeffrey Dahmer or somebody. He just likes to shoot no. anything anytime. Not quite that bad, no. No, he is an expert expert marksman. He's a very good hunter. He's a very, very, he's probably one of the best hunters in NASCAR. Right? Most it's very folks, true. It's very no, true. No, no, that most folks don't know. It's hard living in here sometimes. And I know that'll be used, and that'll be used against me and cut and edited and cut and pasted somewhere else. No, it won't. Because that's how it always ends up. No, no, it won't. See, you got your head's in the way of the camera. Okay. Well, the problem is, is the guy up there answering questions, he's not our crew chief. Uh, we are now joined by the crew chief of today's winning car, uh, Jason Burdett, crew chief for the number seven fire alarm services Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. And boy, after that rain delay, uh, your driver got up in the wheel and took that car. What happened uh, between the first half of the race and the second half of the race that really got that car to victory lane? Uh, it was quite a race. I mean, we made a sorry. It's quite a race. I mean, we made a few adjustments, and uh, that's what made the difference today. What is your real name? Uh, my name is Jordan. Jordan, what do you do, Jordan? I'm a big NASCAR fan, and I'm glad to be here. 
Thanks, Jordan. You can now, you can now leave. Thank you. Okay.